So it's Reyes against Davis in a race to seven racks. It's the winner to break. I'll hand you over to Sid Waddell. Thanks, Mark Bebby. Well, here we are again in sunny Warsaw where me and Mark's having a great time meeting the locals, eating the local food and enjoying the chat. Here's the semi-final and uh, Steve Davis will certainly learn a lot. I'm not sure if he's got the bag of tricks yet to handle the maestro, but with winner to break, Mark, anything can happen in this semi. Well, they've played once already during this tournament, haven't they? Six, six. Now, you always say, Sid, that Efren Rays does hold back a little for his days of hustling. Now, was he holding back a little in that six, six draw against Davis, or was he going flat out? He never goes flat out. It's slightly more sophisticated than holding back. He actually is by instinct a gambler, and he will never let the other man know exactly. And also, I think it's psychological. I don't think Efren Reyes knows how good he can play. It's because he's got this this sort of uh, uh, pictogram of things he's picked up as to how to play. You can actually suddenly see a situation and remember playing Fast Charlie or Slack Eddie or whoever, if you know what I mean. So he is, he is a genius to the extent that he, he himself doesn't know how he's going to play. It's not a planned method to hang back or not. Well, we're just waiting for the crowd to settle. It's an absolute full house here today at the NOT Theatre. You saw Steve Davis there just joking off when anybody accused him if they won a game. He obviously wants to get on with it, but we're going to have to wait until everybody's seated. Efren Ray's there sitting cool and calm. Complete contrast in styles when you watch these two players play. Efren Ray's from the world of Paul, Steve Davis from the world of snooker. Technically, Davis looks superb, but not that important in the world of Paul, is it, Sid? Now, shape and style mean very little. And the world champion, I mean, he looks as though he's using his stick uh, to stab leaves in the park sometimes. But the balls go down. Anyway, Davis in play. And needs one off the break. And as we've been saying, this is a very grudging system, this tight rack. Also, the box system of playing out the narrow box, not the full line, means that one is a good leave. They get one down. He hasn't. Uh, and the the yellow one is begging. So to remind you of the rules, if you haven't been watching nine ball, you have to hit the low ball, in this case the one. You then proceed through the colours to the nine. But if any time you see a plant or a cannon, possible from the low ball to the nine, you can win the rack. And this semi-final is race to seven racks. We've got two world champions here from different disciplines. What does Reyes think of Davison? Uh, very hard to say because he, he don't speak much the English, uh, Efren. Uh, but I do know that him and Steve Davis at the recent World Championships uh, played some eight ball together. And I think Efren has definitely got medals as a snooker player in the Asian Games. So I, I get the feeling that both him and Bustamante rate Davis, particularly Steve's control of the weight. Which, uh, <laughs> for once, has deserted Efren. <laughs> to the amusement of the Polish crowd. Bank. Oh, and that's why his bank manager likes him. The people uh, here from the Philippine Embassy. Well, he's a national hero this night. He's got the Legion Donner of the Philippines and. Uh, a much respected member of the community. And now proceeds the Pink Four. The world champion. 96 players came to Cardiff in the middle of 99 in the sun. And 37 of them wrote on their biogs favorite player, Efron Reyes. You could see a little epitome of why over the next hour. Oh, well, this could be a bit special. Loads, <laughs> loads of side on that cue boy. So difficult playing into that centre pocket. Ignored the corner. And how about <laughs> way left and nine? Oh, superb. Now this could be, all be over in two shots. Could be over in one. If he decides he can const construct another angle to pot, I wouldn't be surprised if he knows geometrically how to get this white to the nine doesn't need to. Here we go then, Sid. But he knows how to get the six to the nine. Actually, this is missable. This uh, is not a gimme. 
except all he's got to do is err on the inside because he can make a mess of this and still pot it off the cush. <laughs> I'm talking about Efren Reyes! Genius at work here! Filipino Embassy folks, pretty chuffed too. Race to seven. As the world snooker champion, former world snooker champion, Dave is going to handle Efren Reyes today. He was in control in the match they played at the round robin stages. He led 5-1. The only time I have seen Reyes on the racks, showing emotion, looking frustrated. Davis had him, but he let him off the hook. He's going to have to get in front early today. He's going to have to put the pressure back on him because Efren Reyes is a great front runner. Yes, Davis had a Efren looking like that Hippocratic snake crawling up the doctor's stick. He twisted and turned. He normally just sits there like a man who's got a free ticket at Wimbledon and then picks up the stick and does it. Davis got through to Efren and should have beat him. That was in the round robin. Efren can smell the pretty green. He's over 7,000 pounds to the winner of this. Jim Remby, the holder's already in the final. Fletcher's off the break. I wonder how the pool players perceive Davis, the snooker player, as in they think he's got other tricks up his sleeve that they haven't got. Yeah, I think they are amazed that he can go for the heart of the pocket. But the problem is that you don't always go for the heart of the pocket at this. But I have seen them absolutely bewildered by his control of the white. He uses different sizes, aren't he? uses the 12 mil, the bulls are bigger, and the cloth is like ice. But I've seen the greats like Strickland and Nick Varner say this man's control of the white ball is sensational. He's learning, you see. Two years ago, he would have actually gone for the heart of the pocket. He's learning when not to go for the middle of the pocket. I suppose we'll never know, but it'd be interesting to find out whether the cue and the tip size would make a difference. Oh, beautifully worked to take the orange top left. It's very hard though after you become the maestro that he is to, to debrief yourself about perfect position. It's virtually impossible. As, as I'm watching this, I'm thinking you played the cue ball just behind the brain. Or, or, you know, when I'm watching the pool players, they don't, I think, straight away poor position, but it's not. It's perfect position. <laughs> it just takes some getting used to. Look at Davis. This has been perfect position. Yeah. One apiece in the semi-final. The Victoria Titans and the Wollongong Hawks. The Titans suit up for battle when they host the boys from the gong live from Melbourne Park. Exclusively live, NBL, Victoria and Wollongong, 7.30 Friday night. Fox Sports 2. There are stories waiting to be told. What other sportsman could you name? A world class who could adapt to become world class in another sport. There is a world of difference between nine ball pool and the world of snooker. 
But wherever you go, all over the world, each arena is a crucible of tension, drama, a test of technique. Steve Davis, six times world snooker champion. Bit to be mentioned in the same breath now as Rempe and Efren Reyes, who he's taking on here in this final. This race to seven. Davis meticulously, grindingly, almost obsessively has adapted his skills to become Romford Slim in honor of Minnesota fans. But he's playing the magician, Mark. Might need to cast more than one spell. The magician, Efren Reyes, is a strong favorite, but Davis is capable. Davis can beat him. I think he's gonna need to believe he can beat him. He's gonna need to be on his guard especially when it comes to safety. I don't think I'm worried about Davis's potting or his positional play. No problems whatsoever, but the tactical side of this game. <laughs> and also, good point, there's an extension of the point. If you lay crafty snookers against this bloke, he will pot his way out of them. Him and Francisco Bustamante, also from the Philippines, are the greatest players ever known to pot their way out of shots that most men would only think if touch was the best bet. He was trying then. He wasn't too sure exactly what was going to happen, but I can assure you he was trying to pot a ball then. He hit that yellow as hard as possible, hoping he'd get a fluke. Well, there is, if, if the bases are loaded. Right, if there are gimme balls elsewhere, remember, contact the low ball, and if the other balls go in, you're still in play. Gonna Can't be see Davis missing here. No, you're right. So it's going to be very, very important that Davis does take his chances, though. Proud and wrapped. They brought rosary beads. All sorts. Filipino flags. People here from the Philippine Embassy. Hey! Snooker players ever get embassy people in their matches? Be on the tour, Mark. Give me an answer. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Not the political kind, anyway. Not sure. Oh, I think that passes. Top left. No problem. They used to be hooked on classics here in Warsaw. Now they're hooked on pool. Which rhymes with cool. And you don't learn in school yet. Swedish kids are learning maths with arts. I reckon it's a good way of teaching kids the basics of physics, this. Hey, even a bit of geometry. There's no record of Euclid ever having played. And I think the kids would argue, would they, Sid? OK, class, then your local pool hall this afternoon. I think they take that every time. It's packed house here at the NOT Theatre. In a great know, response. Don't know I get them into the pool hall. When I was 14, they couldn't get me out. <laughs> Cheat the register for me, pal. Anyway, Davis going about his business here. Looking good. The lead in this semi-final. This a little awkward. Less than half ball contact wanted. Oh, said it. Trying to cheat too much of the pocket. He played a poor brain to black. Didn't get enough screw into the cue ball. Also played a more difficult black. Just caught that knuckle. But also, that is an alien shot to him. That skid shot. That drag. Yeah. So, almost. A lesson he thought he'd learned, just misapplied. Davis, good at this game, learning all the time. One slip, and the magician's in with a wand. The sharp as a red, yeah, two one away, yes. Well, Steve, I think you know you can't afford to do that against Reyes. He's one of those players, he's got such an awe about him that it's probably worth a couple of racks before you even start. Oh, we saw Rempe. was already in the final, coming from this exact spot. 
and although he flings the cue about and wobbles it round in normal play at the break you know this Efren chucks it in on a very straight line and as he looking in shape let's get the white exactly in the middle but the brown the cut looks super thin Safety. Well, this could go. This could go. If he can cheat enough of the pocket, he's got an angle to come back down for the blue too. And with that black eight over the corner, this is a chance. A slim one. Got to travel to get a clear line blue two to black after this. didn't want that, uh, needed more left hand side, should have taken the ball around two cushions to get a shot at the blue. Once again there's another example of how Steve finds it very difficult to try and cheat the pocket. Geller was straight into the heart of the pocket, now if he could have cheated the pocket a little he would have had the angle to go onto that blue but because Snooker's programmed it into him that he has to hit centre pocket every time. It's a very difficult habit to get out of. Oh! Well played, well played, Steve. Get out of. Brilliant stuff. Look at the swerve deliberately imparted to the ball. The intermediate shot into black. Well, he's looked the better of the two players so far, Davis. This is true. But... <laughs> Efren Reyes from minute to minute. It's like to say, the sea's green, the sea's blue, the sea's white. <laughs> you never know which patch of Efren will emerge. And he could do without gifting him shots like this. Oh, I wonder whether he wants this one too badly. Risky shot to play, Efren. He's just checking that again. He's, he's said exactly where he intended for that cue ball to land. He mishit it. That was far too near to the centre pocket. But... Uh it bagged on his massive armory of shots and particularly the imagination this man doesn't play the game with a stick this man has got things going on in his head just like Leonardo da Vinci had on the set what on earth are you trying to draw look at that as perfect a safety as you could have got in the position I'd hit this one hard, Steve. Hit this one as hard as possible and hope. Double kiss. And it didn't set it up for Efren. Semi final here in Poland. He was doing his best and in a way looking <laughs> more efficient. He's missed two bad pots. He missed that pink four in this rack and in the previous rack, well, disastrous for him missing the black eight. Well, I think he's thinking about the thinnest of possible tickles on the green. No, he's not. I thought he might try an each way bet. He tried the intermediate shot. He did try a very imaginative shot. Green to brown to right. And what he's now left is not at all tasty for Davis. Any contact, apart from a perfect one, will lead the way 
Reyes to step in. Is it going to be leave the white where the green six is? Behind the brown, maybe? Well, that would be some shot to play. That would be such a difficult shot Can't to see play. another one? I mean, ideally, you'd like to just clip off the green, put the green in behind the brown. <coughs> the only trouble is that if he misses it, because he obviously got air on the final side, if he misses it, ball in hand. Back over. But if he could get it, well, Efren would be in all sorts of trouble. Hugh Davis fan there, that lassie. And every session supporting him. And uh, I think he's going for what you suggested, Mark. He's going to try and goose feather the green and take the white. Way, 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 way. Mark's applauding on the back of the seat. I thought it was a great shot. A great shot, the best he could have done in that situation. We have seen Efren bank these, but at this stage of the game, shot to play. Now, given the, uh, the distance between the balls to the bottom right, I think he's going to try bank. And you see it straightens out. One chance with a bank. The angles with a spin will cancel themselves out. And that's a fluke. Yep. He's had some luck. I suppose he played the attacking shot, so he put the luck in his favour. Can he get a direct hit? Extreme right to the brown? Uh -oh. oh. I thought there was maybe a path through past the brown without hitting the inside edge. Another one of those, Sid. Hit it hard. You, know, you try and be careful, you try and uh, play a shot off of two cush cushions and judge the green so you put it on that, that top cushion and you get it wrong and you're bound to leave it up, so you may as well just hit it hard and hope that it lands in a safe place, you never know, you might have got one. Well. I don't quite understand this one. Top cushion first or the side? Top cushion, side cushion. Pick up. I'm lucky. Great shot. Another inch. And he would have hooked him. And the brown. very rare for me to see Steve Davis when making the mistakes and his opponent just coming to the table and picking them off but that's the case so far well he is the best player in the world he has been stunning taking money off the Americans in big chunks since 1983 he is El Magico Efren Reyes goes 3-1 up in this race to seven Rugby Union at its best with the second round from the Amy Super 12. Full coverage of every game exclusively live. West Tigers clash with Penrith and Sydney Roosters take on the Northern Eagles. Catch both games on Fox Sports Central Live. The best in golf as the US PGA Tour continues with the Doral Rider Open live and exclusive. And we keep you updated with all the latest from home and abroad on Fox Sports News. That's next weekend on Fox Sports. Sorry. That's okay. Happy ah! The Adventures of Lena and Woodley. Mondays at 8 on the Comedy Channel. 
Monday nights on Fox Sports. Keep up to date with all the sporting headlines on the back page with host Mike Gibson. This is just a bunch of guys chewing the fat. They are sports fanatics. And panellist Peter Frillingos. A little bit too controversial. You won't leave it alone. I think it's a terrific sport. Peter Fitzsimons. My father grew oranges. I grew opinions. Lots of opinions. And Billy Birmingham. I took a hat trick once. Got him! Yes! Gone! Hear all about it on the back page. 7.30 Monday nights on Fox Sports. More than the goulash cooking up here in Eastern Europe in Warsaw to be exact, Steve Davis trails 3-2 in the semi-final to the world number one, Efren Reyes, the world champion. It's a race to seven. <laughs> he just holds his hands up in disbelief. He got some good movement on the nine ball. That yellow one went into the corner of the right hand pocket but didn't drop. He actually only kicked the ball a couple of inches. Brilliant, brilliant shape. break by Davis. Unlucky. Power and control. <laughs> but here's main man on any street from Manitoba to Manila, from Manchester to anywhere you like. The main man in pool. The man in color magician, Efren Reyes, the world champion. Got to be favorite to this kind of pool as well. Up to now on the round robin, we've been playing the alternate break. This is winner breaks. And in the world championship, he reeled off seven to beat former world champion, Ralph Suke in one game. And look at that for control. He was willing the spin on that white to take, bending his knees, hoping that will make a difference. Nicely situated now. His eyes are nearly a foot above uh, the strike zone. No chin to the Q man, him. The age of nine, when his uncle's pool hall in Mexico, Pampanga. Philippines, bit on the crate. Just watched and watched and watched. Turned some kids in the Wordsworth, it turned some kids in the Holbein, and some kids in the Shakespeare, it turns other kids in the maestros of the Bluebeard. Look and listen, practice, and world great. Yeah, he's so going to be disappointed to play the poor position shot onto that orange five. He was looking to play the intermediate onto the black eight. Could have run out there. A let off for Davis. Not much of a let off, mind you. Jim Remy, King James, holder of 89 top World Tour titles. 11 of them World Championship titles. Various forms of pool. Is already in the final. Luke Davis doing his best. And now I know quite well, Davis. Although he's being dished out some pain by Reyes, he'll be relishing every second. This encounter. Any option that isn't obvious here? Well, obviously, looking. To try and disturb that nine ball at the same time, try and get some movement into it, but I can't see if he's going to be able to kick that across. So, well played, well played. That's when Davis comes into his own. I just like the difference in the way they play. You've got Davis, who's robotic in his in as much that you know everything is exactly the same. And you got Efren Reyes, well, a lot of the time I always think that Efren's not too sure what he's going to do when he comes to no, the table. No, he doesn't. No, no, I don't, I don't think he's a thinker. I think Efren has got a totally synthetic picture memory of the last time he or he saw somebody. It's an amazing amalgam of his own talent and been able to use a shot that he saw somebody else play. See, like, Steve has polished everything from the way he walks, the way he chalks his cue, his preparation before a shot, even the way he sat 
at the, at the chair. He's trying to give off no body language whatsoever. They used to call him the Iceman, no emotion. So he'd sit there, back straight, looking dead ahead. You see Efren, he just <laughs> leans forward, looks around the crowd, doesn't really care what's going on. Yep. Certainly like chest between the ears now. Uh, I don't I, I don't understand why he doesn't play the orange as in it to an intermediate ball either way. I think he's worried. I think he's worried about whether he's playing the right shot because he knows that Reyes has sat in the chair. He's questioning himself. Thinking, have I missed something here? Is that good enough? Uh, well, probably for me, but I think it may be using intermediate to brown, intermediate to black. He's going, I think, for the bank. Crowd absolutely tense on this semi final. Whirlpool League now it's cutthroat last late lot of stages. This for a place in the final against Jim Rempy. I think Efren thinks there is a two cushion bank here. That's what he's after. No. I think against some opponents, he would have tried to take cushion bank there. Yeah, he could be right, Sid. Steve acknowledging that shot from Efren, he thought it was a good one. I don't think there is room for Steve to try a bank middle left. What I think you might be looking at, although this might be total pie in the sky, is the simultaneous contact orange to black, send the black onto the nine, send the nine left. Possible. See, simultaneous contact allowed at this. So if he hits the black at exactly the same time as he hits the orange, just watch the line the black takes. Actually, it wasn't that sophisticated. I think that was an attempt to, to bank the orange. Middle left. Good chance now for Efren. Got the crowd absolutely tent. I hope this. Ominous alignment of the black and the nine. No, maybe that's Steve's only chance. That may be his saving grace. He might even try and disturb them. He has. But he was playing. Or the each way bet of the plant. Because yeah. I he had in mind either disturbance or this plant. This is a difficult plan. But actually, really has compromise to, to work the sort of each way bet. It's very difficult, but it was I think it was part of the equation in his head. So he's gonna drive into the black. Genius at work. A 50-50 shot. He took it right of the black. Then he did the plan. 4-2, the world champion leads. Well, you must excuse me and Mark Johnson Allen, folks, but it is like two pilots flying in fog over mountains. I keep tabs on Efren Reyes. Race to break, by four to two. Oh, he's moving the cue ball across the line. Why? 
is obviously not happy with his break. Watch the nine ball, centre ball of the diamond. No, he was he really up the pace. That's surprising from Efren. That's not like him. He was given out the kitchen sink, Sid. I think. It's, it's a great compliment to Davis. That for a lot of people's money, one of the greatest players ever, certainly the world champion, would decide on a a rash gambler's tactic. Why not, when you're four two up and it's a race to seven, not just play that from exactly the same place? I think he tried to to throw down the gauntlet to Steve, say, "Well, I've got you running. Now I'm gonna cripple you." It was <clears throat> it was a bit of flash, a bit of psychology, and at the moment it hasn't come off. Totally agree with you. I like it. I think that'll please Davis. You know, I don't think they can work Davis out yet. I don't think. Davis doesn't play a straightforward pool game. He's got a bit of everything. I still think they look at that technique and think, oh, that looks good. This man looks like he knows what he's doing. We've seen it before when they played in the round robin stage, Davis had him under it. Well, and also, Echo and Hal Laley, and occasionally Rotair in this, tried to get greedy with the pack. That's for the first time Efren's tried to get greedy from the break. Well, my wife said, uh, tell her I was going to hold him for a few days. She said, take your long John Sydney, you're not getting any younger. Where I'm going, maybe minus five outside. It's going to be very warm on the table. Jim Rempy's in the final. A minute Efren Ray's looking to book his place. Sweet shot from Reyes. <laughs> Intended. <laughs> I don't think he's worked day for saying really done. But in a way, in, nobody knows in the world what Efren Reyes is capable of, including Efren Reyes. He, he's like a volcano that you, you think maybe pack it in. And then you'll find another spurt. It's because it's a great copier. An amalgam of all the shots he's seen since he was nine. Forget your silicone, pelican chip or whatever. In that guy's head is every experience of spheroids he's had since he was nine. I'm so excited, they're kicking over the Astrias. Brilliant shot! Played it. That was deliberate! Yeah. <laughs> Davis left the table pleased with the shot he played. Little did he know that Efren Reyes came to the table thinking, great chance here for me. He means this to go in off the pink. He meant every millimetre of that track. Long, short, cut or thrust. And if the three musketeers had been recruiting, D'Artagnan wouldn't have got a look in. Absolute brilliant work by the world champion. That was a better shot. <coughs> he had a lot of check side on that keyboard to hold it for the green six. Not a lot in them. Just a couple of percent. It's just looking to attack. He's seen those shots before. I don't think Davis has. Because he hasn't played enough nine ball, I don't think he's seen the shots. I tell you, he admits that. His tactics, he sometimes does not understand. But then again, Efren. This is a great money player. Plays as well as he needs to. Folks from the Filipino Embassy happy. Efren Reyes leads 5 2 in this semi final.
Monday night. Fox Sports, where legends are made and champions are crowned. Around heavily trying to take. Oh, lucky son! I think he was thinking of taking that curve into the nine after contact with the yellow. Yes, it is. Has he got a straight pot, middle or bottom left? You reckon, Mark? Just go. There's the answer. Goes into the bottom left. The middles looks dubious. They prefer the corners as it is, so I presume he's going to take that. Touching. It's funny. <laughs> when Reyes misses, he sort of smiles to himself and laughs. Now, is that something he's putting on? Trying to act like he doesn't care? Oh, yes. Because there's no way you're going because to be Because if happy you come back it, and say we played for 200 and I lost, I played for 500 now. You won't miss shots like that. <laughs> there's something in his face that makes guys he takes to the cleaners when he plays for money. Uh, just think he can't be serious. In good shape on the blue too now. I don't know, I'm not just imagine. I think there's now a stab in his cue in action that wasn't there two years ago when he started to play this. This idea of changing the speed as you come through the ball. This slowing up sometimes or but always continuing as a stroke. It's a it's a more crude form of use of cue than Stugger. But maybe it must be at this. Maybe he has to cue it differently because of the cue he's using. It's well, not as heavy, exactly. it's not as thick. Yep. And he's using the same cue as he uses for snooker, and the balls in pool are considerably, considerably bigger and heavier. Yep. So but if you're not dead on with where you're hitting, I mean, I've got the billiard uh, manual 99 critical shots in pool, and they list 14 different places to hit the cue ball. Right? Middle, up a couple, down a couple, across a couple, and about eight round. So, that's with the normal full cue. So, in a funny way, Davis playing with a smaller cue at 12 mil. He's doubling it. Not doubling it, but he's, he's, he's increasing it. Yeah. putting on more oh. or less spin than he needs. So, really, well, he asked a question earlier on in the series, should he use a proper full cue? Maybe he should try. But also there's the question, because Steve's still very much part of the snooker, would practicing too hard with the equipment for this game, i.e. a proper cue, spoil his snooker? I think that's, you've hit the nail on the head, Sid. That's the reason he's not doing it. He's still <laughs> playing extremely competitive snooker. He's enjoying his nine ball, but he doesn't want to start playing with a different cue. If, and the, then all of a sudden if the point ever came where he thought, that good habits for this learned were detracting from long learned habits at snooker. I don't see pack this in. But so maybe that's the dilemma. To get really good at this, it might affect the snooker. Exactly. Rather than effort, going for the jugular here. Look at them take it a 6 2. It's a race to seven, it's a semi final.
beautifully screwed and you'll just want to come in here with a snidge of right hand side to take it just put them one away from the match in a place in the final. Large Filipino contingent here, including people from the embassy, cheering on the maestro. 6-2, he's ahead. Well, Michaela Tams looks as though she should be at St. James's Park, Newcastle on time. That of officiating here at Sunny Warsaw as the Uranian world champion Efren Batar is <laughs> finishes with style a golden break to sink Rumford Slim. What is this man not capable of? The magician ends with a spill out of the Prima Liga. What a way to end the match. Saving the best to last. Or what? Flag of the Philippines. Flying proud here in Boso. So the world professional champion Efren Reyes will play the reigning champion Jim Rempe in the final. What a mouth-watering prospect that one will be. Join us next time for the final of the GT Interactive World Pool League.